Hi, thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this faux pinwheel. Uh, there's no tricky folding involved, it's all just paper that is pre-cut. Um, so here's my card to show you the sample, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're going to need for this technique are, first of all, you're going to need eight squares that measure one and one quarter by one and one quarter. And what I've done is I've done four in the honey cardstock and then four in our um, Darlene Mayberry BNT paper, our pattern paper. And then you're going to need two squares that measure two and five eighths inches. And these I'm doing in my cocoa cardstock. And then finally, if you want another mat to your pinwheel like I've done here in the sample, you'll notice this olive one that goes around the outer border. This is an olive three inch square, so three inch by three inch. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take your two cardstock squares that measure two and five eighths, and you're gonna put a little bit of adhesive in the middle of one of them. Because what you're going to do is you're gonna create your formation to start your pinwheel. And basically you're going to be putting your points in the middle of your other one. So you have this nice formation. So you have this point that's in the middle of these two points, this point between those two, and this is going to create your pattern to do your pinwheel. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your eight little squares that you have and flip them over so that you have the backside facing up. And you're going to take a tape runner style adhesive and you're gonna put just a little bit of adhesive in the corner, just one corner of each square. You don't need a lot of adhesive because they'll start layering on each other and hold each other together. So once you have that done, it doesn't matter if you start with your cardstock or with your pattern paper. And by the way, you're welcome to um, go ahead and use all the same paper. So you could have eight squares that were all the same pattern. Um, I just did it for visual appeal. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that corner that has the adhesive, and that's going to go in the corner, and um, the outside corner. And you're going to leave just a little bit border, like an eighth of an inch. And then you're going to go ahead and alternate. So you're going to find your sticky side here on the pattern. Again, going into that corner, leaving a little bit of a border. And you're going to keep doing that alternating, sticky side to the outer corner. And you're going to start seeing your formation of your pinwheel start by doing this. And you just go ahead and continue until you get to your very last one. Always leaving a little bit of a border. And then when you get to your last one, you're going to have to do just a little bit of um, moving around because you're going to have to get that tucked in there just so and the other one's already glued down. And there you have your pinwheel. So what you can do, like I said, is you can take another um, square as your mat, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I've already pre-sponged all those pieces that I just put together, so I'm going to go ahead and with our foam tool and our cocoa ink, I'm just going to sponge up our olives so it's all consistent. It adds a nice soft um, definition to the edge of the paper. Really easy to do, very fast because we have this nice big foam tool. And then I'll just go ahead and glue this on there. The Bonnie Memories glue. Give a border. And then if you want to finish off your pinwheel, a nice little touch is to put a button in there. So I'm going to use our new wooden buttons and I'm going to string it with our Colonial White Waxy Flax. And I really like our Waxy Flax because it has that nice um, waxy coating so it makes it a, lot, a little bit stiffer, easier than some fibers or some other kind of like hemp or something like that that you might use. And it also doesn't really need a true knot because that wax coating kind of holds, so all you just need to do is just do a single tie. And um, then you can just use a glue dot and glue that right to the middle of your pinwheel. And um, so here's our sample again on the card. And I'll show you it has a nice little fold to it so it opens up um, so the pinwheel's not all the way on the card. And the nice thing is, is that this kind of concept can work for your cards or for your layouts. I have a layout sample where I've done a pinwheel as well can see that. And all I've done is I've just um, adjusted the size of the pinwheel because basically what you're going to do is, um, like I said, these two squares were one and a quarter inch and so that makes obviously two and a half if you add that together. So that's where I came up with the two and five eighths because I wanted a small eighth of an inch border for my matting of my pinwheel. So you can adjust it um, to any size. Just double your two little squares and then add an eighth of an inch to it. So for example, in that layout that I just showed you, I did one inch squares. So my matting was actually two and an eighth by two and an eighth um, cardstock squares. So that's all there is. And you have this adorable pinwheel and people think that you've slaved over it. And um, once you show them how easy it is, they're gonna love it. And so I hope you love it too. I hope I've inspired you and have fun making one. Thanks for stopping by.